Did the bedroom doors of the four murdered University of Idaho students have electronic locks like this? A former tenant posted this photo and says all six bedrooms had combination locks. It's believed the students had a lock on their door similar to this. This is a keypad lock, and I'm at AAA Architectural Hardware in Manhattan with Richard Brown, who is the owner. Are these things reliable? They're very reliable when they're installed properly and when they're used properly. You press the code that was pre-programmed in, push down on the lever handle, open the door, and then close the door behind you. And it should be locked. Only when I ain't in bed on my own. But this was a party house. Many may have known the combinations. Meet you at the house, let yourself in. The kids do that all the time. Hey, Moscow police, come back here. Meanwhile, Inside Edition has obtained this body cam video taken on the night of the murders a short hey, distance Moscow, from the house. It's one thing to drink in an apartment where no one can see you. It's another thing for us to drive by and see you guys absolutely stumbling down the road. Three freshmen so, were cited for underage drinking. Underage. Note the time, 3.15 a.m. Police say the murders could have been taking place at that very moment. The three were sighted near the Sigma Chi fraternity where Ethan Chapin and Zaina Kernodal attended a party. Look how close it is to the murder house. And look at this, a poignant moment today as police carry boxes of the victim's belongings from inside the house to a U-Haul truck to return them to their grieving families.